All right. First off, before I begin my rant, does that look like fucking white shag carpet to you? Because it sure as shit doesn't look white to me. Let me see. The fuck? Doesn't even really look like carpet, but it sure as shit doesn't look white. The hell, Bethesda. Quit being lazy, damn it. Alright, so basically, as the title states of this uh, soon to be video that I will create later on after I'm done streaming, it's titled Bethesda Has Fallen. Now, Bethesda was one of the last companies to jump on board this whole bandwagon of pre order this and get this, and pre order that version and get this, and if you do this, you get this, and so on and so forth, which is what the gaming industry has gone to with the whole pre-order bonus crap and pay-to-win crap and sweet Christmas. There's just way too many things to freaking go off on. But as far as Bethesda was concerned, for the longest time up until recently, you know, they weren't into this. Now, this kind of system here, the Atomic Shop, okay, I don't mind this kind of system because all of these atomic points, for the most part, you can earn yourself as you play the game. And the game has enough content and is long enough to basically give you the ability to rack up atom points to buy any of the things you want. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to buy a lot of this stuff. It's just not practical just playing the game because, as you can see, just, just a suit, a space suit, is 800 atom points. Now, it would take you, like about a week of casual gameplay no it would take you about two weeks of ga casual gameplay to get 800 atom points just to buy that spacesuit okay so the only real way to get all of it like if you're into all of this stuff and you need to have it all you're just a collector of these things then yes you are going to have to spend real world money to buy them but the point i'm trying to make is that you don't have to spend a damn thing to get the things that you actually want. Like, for instance, I wanted the black paint for my Pip-Boy. So I had to save up. I believe the black paint was 600 atom points, but it may have been 400. I'm not 100% sure what I paid for, but I just wanted a black paint for my Pip-Boy. I wanted a black Pip-Boy so that I bought that because it was something that I really wanted. Do I like this American Patriot? Uh... Uh, freaking power armor indeed I do but do I freaking need it no but it's cool eventually may I get it yeah but the reason why I'm saving my 2000 atom points is because they have this dark stealth black paint for the x01 power armor that was went on this cheesy limited time where is it I'll show you limited time and it was only for like a day or something so if you didn't have 1800 atom points you missed out on it and god knows when the next time Bethesda's is going to put it up so they have their little gimmicks too to get people to spend real world money but anyway my point is is that even bethesda who was holding on for so long to not do anything like this is now doing this so the game that we're going to focus on today is Rage 2, which is another Bethesda game. Now, I'm not even into Rage. I didn't even play the first one, so this may be a bad example for me. But I'm just going to go through the laundry list of the different things that you can get if you pre-order the game. If I can find it on their website. So let's see. We'll hit the pre-order button. And we have the Rage 2 Deluxe Edition. All right, coming soon to the Gearbox One, PlayStation 4, and computer. The Deluxe Edition includes the following Rise of the Ghost expansion will be available by summer 2019. So they're already putting expansion notices in there, which is kind of crazy because you would think expansions would come out later and be announced later. You get the Doom, big fucking gun. You get Wasteland Wizard Cheat Codes. Okay, so this was one of the things I thought was absolutely retarded. Wasteland Wizard Cheat Codes. So if you pre-order the game, they're going to essentially give you cheat codes so that you can cheat, which is stupid. Okay. And then you have a Progress Booster, which essentially means an Experience Booster when you pre-order. <laughs> 
You get the and the battle standard pre-order only bonus cult of the death god mission. So they're giving you additional missions too for pre-ordering the game. So if you don't pre-order the game, you do not get this god mission. You don't get a Siddler pistol, and you don't get Nicholas Rain's armor and mutant monster truck skin. So if you do not pre-order this game, you don't get any of that stuff. You can't even get it later on, or so it's stating here. All right. The mutant monster truck skin. I mean, this is just, this is, and the, the thing is, is that they bait you into pre-ordering the game with all of these extras, and then meanwhile, the game might suck balls. I mean, it's happened to so many people already, like with Battlefield Five. People pre-ordered Battlefield Five. They played it. It didn't have the Battle Royale in it. And they were like, what is this crap? And then Electronic Arts is pricing down Battlefield Five, I believe, to like $19.99 or $29.99 already. And the game just came out in the fourth quarter of 2018. That's ridiculous. I remember Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 was full price for about three years after the game was released. And then only up until recently with Battlefield 1 when, when it got released was Battlefield 4 even remotely priced down. But that was just the basic edition. Now you could get all of the expansions and all of the stuff for the game for still a full price value. So Electronic Arts had that power because their games were that good. But now they're just crap. And, and it's, it's obvious because of their price point. Because nobody's buying this shit. And then they go, oh, well, we're going to release our Battle Royale in March. Shit, by March, fucking Battle Royale is going to be played out. Nobody's even going to play it anymore, for crying out loud. I know, I know. I'm sorry, Fortnite fanboys. And and uh, was that Apex Legends bullshit, which is, which is a funny electronic art story, is that this is only proof to electronic arts that people are willing to spend money on digital items so all of you who think like oh they released the game for free maybe electronic arts is thinking um clearly now no 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 they're not the, the apex legend is just a a test subject to sh to see the power of free to play for electronic arts and how far they can test the system of people buying uh, frivolous things inside the game model so for those of you who are thinking that you won because electronic art stocks suffered and people weren't buying their games anymore and apex legends is the new thing well yeah it's the new thing but wait wait and see what they start tweaking that game into because they have all the justification in the world saying well the game's free you know the game's free and they're just going to make it absolutely ridiculous they're going to put paywalls behind every character new release they're going to make you pay for every single little possible thing in that damn game so it's coming. You just wait and see. But I just wanted to make a brief little video here. It was, wasn't really brief. It's early morning on a Saturday and I ain't got shit else to do. So I'm just sitting here in my freaking chair, reclined back, playing me some Fallout 76, which thankfully I think is a good game. Like, I mean, it's not the fucking greatest game in the world. Does it have bugs and shit? Yes, it does. But it keeps me entertained it has so much to do inside the game and yes the multiplayer does suck balls because whatever you play with friends it seems to amplify the amount of glitches tenfold but if you're a single player kind of gamer like myself and you enjoy things like fallout and you've always enjoyed fallout games it gives you something to jump into and work on you can build you can explore you can collect you can do all these things now now god uh hopefully they expand this fucking chest capacity because this 600 capacity and the capacity that i can carry on myself is just not fucking cutting it so if you're listening bethesda for the love of all that is good please expand the fucking chest size for crying out loud i mean there's not even anybody playing the fucking game anymore so don't give me this bullshit excuse about how Oh, well, the servers might crash if so many people have fucking items in their chest. And another thing is, is that I know, Bethesda, that you are planning on making this fucking game free to play 
So that's probably what you're doing. You're waiting to expand the fucking chest until all of these fucking mongoloids get into the game when it's free to play for about a week and then they get fucking bored and then they go fucking borrow their mom's credit card and buy more stupid shit in Fortnite and Apex Legends. So hopefully after that initial fucking rush, once the game goes free to play, you fix your fucking shit and you expand your motherfucking chest size because this shit is just not acceptable. You hear me, Bethesda? You hear me, Todd? I want fucking more. What the hell? It's a beaver in my house. Normally, that would be a good thing, but not today. Look at this bullshit, man. I got 598 out of a possible 600 of a motherfucking chest, and I don't even have anything crazy. I just fucking sold off all my fucking weapons that I really like. I'm just keeping the, the old bunker buster in here, which is fucking ridiculous rocket launcher. Uh, but that's the... You fix your shit, boys. Beaver? Are you glitch stuck behind, under the stairs or something there, bud? And then I have my... My fish lamp. Which for some reason is turned on in the daytime. And they turn it... Like, that's another thing you need to fix, but that's the... If I fucking turn that lamp off, you keep it turned off. Who the hell else is coming in my house and turn that bitch on? You're pissing me off. But anyway, that's it for the old rant today. I hope you appreciated it, and don't give in to the fucking system, people. If something is a pre-order and it just seems ridiculous, don't fucking pre-order it. Watch the shit on Twitch. Watch some other asshole buy it first. Play it. See if you fucking like it. See if it's something. Hell, go to the damn red box. Rent that motherfucker. Play it. If you like it, buy the shit. But don't, don't do this stupid shit, man. Don't pre-order shit for a fucking boost. It, what it, it's, it's a single-player game too, isn't it? You get a fucking boost. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. But I'm out of here. I'll talk to you guys later.